What up, y'all, cyber friends? Mitty Man coming back at you from Walker's Music. Well, yeah, another word for the day. We do say we're going to get the word this time. We want to give a big shout out to the YouTube family from Baby Justice all the way up to Big Papa JT. And I want to give everybody a message. I talked to Papa JT not too long ago, and uh, he asked me to do this to let all the YouTube family know, Facebook as well. That he doesn't mean to, to forget us. When he does his videos, he, when he be in front of that camera, he be sweating bullets. He be trying to get away from that camera. So he told me he, he doesn't mean to not acknowledge anyone. And so he told me to make certain I tell everybody that he uh, he does apologize for that. So now I, I have told you, so now you can just go and let him know that everything is all right. We just be glad, Pop JT, that you do these videos and words of wisdom. And that because we don't have too many people nowadays that you can get solid foundational wisdom from. And I mean, that's from the church house to the outhouse. You just cannot, it's hard to find it. But at any rate, I just wanted to say a few things here uh, uh, from, from as a continuation of, from a, the uh, prior video of Brother Thomas on. And I'm hoping that everything is all right with him as well because see this is the danger where we get when we get too big and we get to the point that we get too high minded in Christ we are servants and we must make certain people that we represent Jesus to our best be on our best P's and Q's at all ways because people got us up on a microscope people got a magnifying glass on you when you try when you say you living for Christ people gonna make certain they gonna look for every flaw and if they find one, they're going to make sure they try to crucify you with that. But now, don't let it get to you. Because, see, there's nothing good in many, man. There's nothing good in you. But everything is according to what this Bible say. Jesus said, he does the work. He said, without me, you can do nothing. And we know that in John 10. But I want to say something here. If you go to Proverbs 15, chapter if you want to call it that. 15 division, however you want to say it. And look at that. Let, let's take a look at a few of these verses. Chapter 15, Proverbs. A soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. The tongue of the wise useth knowledge aright, but the mouth of fools poured out foolishness. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. Let's stop there. May God add a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of his holy word. Now, people, Proverbs is considered to be the book of wisdom. That's what I said. And I didn't I wasn't the one that came out with that. But that's what essentially it is. And just in them three verses right there alone, look what it says. A soft answer. Turn it away wrath. The tongue or the wise use the knowledge right. But the mouth of fool poured out foolishness. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. People, that tells me the man. I don't know what that tells you, but that tells me the man. See, ain't no sense in me worrying about trying to make this person do right and trying to make that you just keep yourself right because this book tells that the eyes of the law is everywhere He's, what that third verse said beholding the what evil and the good so you see people God is not God is not God is not uh, unaware of anything good or evil God knows that evil dwells in this land just as well as good because his eyes are everywhere. We don't have to defend ourselves. The scripture said, be still. Stand still. See the salvation of the Lord. People just do what's right. Three things does the Lord require. He loves that us. We do justice. We love mercy and walk humbly before him. People, that's all we can do. And I feel we can do those three things. We try to make too we try to make too big of stuff. And people going around to and fro they 
speaking that to know, sometimes we speak that we don't know, have no, or however you want to say it. But one thing about it, God knows it all. And there's a song that we used to sing called, There's a God Who Knows It All. So we don't have to worry. Take all our cares to Christ. Lay the burdens on Him. That's what He told us to do. And the Bible says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His rights, and then all His other stuff will be added. But now, nah, that don't mean people that we should just sit down and just don't care about nothing. No, it don't mean that. But it meaning that in our everyday activity, just like what I'm about to do after I get through this video, I got to go on out there to the studio and I'm going to try to get some stuff done musically. I'm going to try to work on some stuff that I need to do and going to try to make the best of it. Have a balance and everything that must be balanced, people. Everything. And you cannot make people I'm going to say this here, and then I'm going to end this video. I got a couple of tutorials I'm going to do because of, I've been asked to do them. But the one thing I found out, you can't make grown people do anything. Uh, these days in time, you can't even make children do nothing. Not, not these days in time we're living in. But I noticed that people will cling to what they will cling to. People will... You, I mean, if, like the, I heard a pastor say just last night, he don't worry about when people don't speak to him. He's a, he just treat them right. He ain't got nothing to do with how they act. So you know, when people don't want to, if people don't want to uh, have nothing to do with you, worry about it all the way to the garbage can. This is the Middle Man saying peace, goodbye.